Holger, an absolute pleasure to take a little bit of your time it's a pleasure. to fill up our channel here on ECMID yeah. TV. Um, another member of the program committee, and you know, you've been coming to ECMID now. I think you said since the year 2000 when oh, we were chatting right. earlier. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, you don't look that old. I've got to tell you that well, first that of all. Well, it took me a lot of effort to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> How has it changed for you in all those years, 19 years? Well, um, as I overlook all these uh, ECMED meetings right now, I see a tremendous increase in, in broadness of the uh, thematic areas that are being dis uh, addressed. Yes. And we also see a tremendous increase in quality, in scientific quality. I think that is one of the major issues uh, when it comes to the question, why is ECMAS uh, so successful? Yeah. Um, especially when you look at other infectious diseases uh, related um, 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 meetings around the globe. So uh, I think that is really something that makes the ECMAS stand on its own. Out, uh, out there and proud of it as well, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's yeah. almost a global meeting now as well, isn't it? Nearly yeah. 130 countries absolutely. represented. Absolutely. It's amazing to see that uh, people are coming from all over the world, from, from uh, Australia, uh, from Asia, but also from the US. I think there's a, uh, the Congress is being appreciated as one of the leading meetings in the world, and uh, I think that is really a, a European co um, um, success. Story. Even the Brits are here with Brexit yeah. going yeah, on. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like the English are <laughs> they, still they, here. St they are still here, <laughs> right. <laughs> so as you say, you've seen this incredible depth grow. Um, this year must have been magnificent. The numbers have been superb, as everyone has told us. Um, what do you think next year has in store for us in Paris in yeah. April 2020? So, well, I'm a medical microbiologist now, and my special focus lies on uh, diagnostics and the way how we diagnose infectious diseases. And what we've seen during the past couple of years uh, is not only be the introduction of like mali or other new technologies, but I think that we, we are really facing the genomic revolution right now. And that does not only mean that we are going to analyze bacteria uh, to a depth that we have not been knowing so far, but we will see, and I think that will be a major topic in Paris, how these sequence-based diagnostic metagenomics will come into clinical practice and yeah. uh, that will really revolutionize the way we from a from diagnostics point of view will look at infectious diseases in the future incredibly and, exciting yeah, times it is it is absolutely and so if you look at the 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 traditional way how we diagnose uh, infectious diseases until today, like having agar plates, or whatever, and I think that we will have a universal technique that can help us to uh, to answer all these different questions: what type of pathogen, what is the resistance, what is the clonal relatedness, whatever you want. So you can get out of those type of data sets, and we are we are in the beginning, and it's not so that we can say it's ready to go for the for the routine lab but we are really fast approaching this uh, this uh, this level and i think that is going to be a major topic uh, in paris and another major topic that i see on the horizon is the the question how we can make use of all our abilities that we have in the lab yeah. so how can we figure out or how can we triage which patients need to get all diagnostics that are available and in which patient do we not necessarily bring all our technologies. Um, Where it's to relevant the, to the right technologies in the right place. Exactly. Yes. So that is the uh, term diagnostic stewardship and how can we manage this? How, and I think that will also be a major topic, um, the interaction between the clinician and the micro lab. So how this need to get to, uh, more closer together and to work more effectively in, uh, in treating our, mm. for treatment of our patients. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for Paris next year. I think it's going to Me be neither. bigger so, yeah. and Absol better. Absolutely. And I, we look forward to seeing you there as well, sir. Thank you so much for giving us your time today. Really no, appreciate it, it. It's a pleasure. We'll see you Thank next you year. Much. I will be there. <laughs> absolutely.